Hey everyone, this is Richard, and I'm gonna go over your PMB 100 setup. All right, so we have our 55 inch uh, version here of the PMB 100. Uh, there is also the 65 inch, which stands just slightly taller. And uh, but for, for right now, we have the 55 inch. Uh, same setup, so we're gonna go ahead and cover some outside features for the model. If I go ahead and turn it around to the side, the first thing that you'll notice on the front is it has these latches holding uh, the cover. So when you're ready to use the mirror, uh, go ahead and take this off by undoing the latches, and then you can attach your gold frame uh, to that. So uh, on the bottom, we have these caster wheels. So you have caster wheels and you have locks here. So you can lock the wheels uh, to prevent it from moving. Uh, let me go ahead and give this another turn. On the top here, when you receive the unit, uh, you have a plate here. And so this will be covered in the next video, but this plate will be unscrewed and flipped around so that way you can attach your strobe flash and umbrella. On the back side here, we have the door, which will go into the computer and all the inside uh, setups. If I go one more turn around, you have another port down here. So if you take this off, you can feed your electrical cord uh, through the bottom. And then you have some handles here to help with the transport. So uh, during transport, it's okay to lay this flat on its back. Uh, just be sure to put a moving blanket uh, to prevent any scratches. Um, also to make sure to uh, remove all of the inside parts, such as the computer. Uh, camera can stay inside, that's securely in place, but more importantly, a lot of the loose items uh, before laying it flat. So let's go ahead and open the back part. Okay, so we've opened up our unit now and uh, we're gonna go over uh, each part in here and show you how to connect the cables. So first off, uh, we have your umbrella. We're gonna set that there. And your strobe flash, it'll be in a white box. So let's go ahead and get these parts set to the side for our next video on how we go over the strobe flash. Uh, we have the TV remote. We have our Bluetooth keyboard. And we have our Windows computer. So we'll get to this part uh, very soon. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over the inside now. Uh, first off, at the top, we have your DSLR uh, camera. And attached to the top part is your hot shoe. The hot shoe is what's being used to trigger the strobe flash. Uh, coming down, you have your camera USB cable. That just sends a signal to the computer so the software knows uh, that that's the, the camera you plan on using. Uh, you have your camera USB, I mean your power cable. So that's gonna go to here and that's being plugged into here on this power strip. And you can find out which cable is which by, you can see the label. So this one's labeled as camera power. Uh, the TV is coming down here. So that's your TV power. And then you have your USB hub. So this just adds more uh, ports to your Windows computer. Since you're, you're very limited on most laptops, uh, this just gives you more options. So that way you can plug in your printer, you can plug in the uh, camera if you want to, or you can plug that directly into the laptop. Uh, on this side here, we have your touch USB uh, cable. So this sends a signal to the computer to uh, do the touch feature on the mirror. Um, and that's pretty much it. So you have also one last one is your HDMI cable. So just like a, what an HDMI cable does, it just uh, displays the picture from your laptop to the TV. All right, so now let's go ahead and open up your Windows computer and we're gonna go over 
uh, plug it in your cables. So when you receive your laptop, it's already installed with the software that you need. Uh, there's three, three pieces of software. There's the PhotoBoost software, the uh, calibration software for the Touch IR frame, and there's the uh, remote in software so our tech can remote into your laptop. So you can see here, there's only a few ports for the USBs, so that's why we add in this USB hub. So what you can do is go in and take off each one, and then just one by one, plug it into the laptop. So we got this one, and then we're gonna go ahead and grab your camera. So this one can actually go into either the hub or the laptop. So just make sure that these are all powered on. But uh, for right now, I'll go ahead and plug it into the laptop. So we got that one. Then we have this one here. And then I'll get my HDMI cable. So let's go ahead and get that plugged in. Okay. And then lastly, we have our touch IR USB cable. And then don't forget that you will need to plug in your power for the laptop which you can find in the same box. So this right here will just plug in straight into the power strip. So you have your AC power. All right, so all cables are connected now and we're pretty much ready to go. In the next video, one of our techs is gonna go over how to set up your touch IR frame and the software. So stay tuned for that one.